Hello and welcome everyone back to Universe Sandbox! The two, one, whatever we're calling it now. It looks like you guys have been up to some very specific hobbies considering J1407B's trending. I good good job guys. You, you gotta you gotta plan it to trend. That's an, it's impressive, especially when the name is so smooth. Um it, but it is an interesting planet. It's also known as Super Saturn, and everyone likes Saturn. You know, rings, they're they're exciting. Everyone likes a good ring. Put it on your finger, put it on your planet, put it... Uh, so, we're going to go ahead. <laughs> uh, let's grab a gas giant, because that's, that's what it is. Cool! That's probably how it looks. Let's just rename it and start getting it to be the way we want it to be. Okay, you're a... Rogue object, that's cool. That's very edgy. Edgy of you. Can I get the labels back, please? What why oh there we go. Okay. Whew. Whew. I haven't played this in a while. Don't don't mind me. Why can't I oh here we go. Here we go. Alright, so let me move my face a little bit. Whoop. So I'm over here and let's go ahead and just uh actually this game I should probably be like over here. It really just makes more sense. Let's name this J1407B. Boom! There we go. That is the name, and now we're going to actually make it act like the planet. It's supposed to be mocked, mocked after? Modeled after, that's a better word. Alright. Its radius is 50% bigger than Earth's. So that should be an easy one to do. All we have to do is 1.5 Earth for the radius. We're going to lock that. And we're also going to lock mass because we know what the mass should be. Uh, the mass should be five times the mass of Earth. So, uh, did it change? It changed the rate. I really did not. I want to lock this and this. Why? Do, do, do. Because if we increase density, that means the same amount of material will take up less space, which means that it will shrink. And that's that's called basic basic math right there there we go now it has kind of the properties that we would expect let's go ahead and just save it actions save this object save yay we saved it saved the world already now let's give it rings that's that's the thing so the reason why this planet is so awesome is because it has insanely large rings like the largest ever like seen ever it's it's actually almost absurd how large the rings are, and we're gonna get a good comparison. Uh, you know, you know Saturn? Let's bring Saturn out just so that we can look at Saturn's nice little rings. They're not, they're not little. Saturn's rings are actually quite large. Um, Saturn, and then let's add Saturn's rings. They're separate objects because rings are quite laggy. Where's Saturn's rings? You... Uh, okay, it's not actually in alphabetical order, but that's okay. There's Saturn's rings. Notice how they're about, like, I don't know, a little over half the radius of Saturn is the rings. Maybe a bit further if you're including the really not dense areas. But it looks, it looks really nice. Saturn's got hefty rings. Well, how, how large are the rings on Mr. J1407B? Um, well, I believe it's about 600... <laughs> times that uh let me check the wiki page uh 640 times so to put that into perspective let's do it we're going to select this and then we're going to modify the properties of the rings so we're going to do 640 times these actually i think the inner radius is fine it's only the outer radius i really have to edit um, 640 times 0 0.365, 233.6, that's, that's a lot, that's <laughs> 0.6 astronomical units, that's, that's pretty large, that's impressive, we'll put it in scale of solar system in a moment. Uh, number of particles, we're gonna pump that off so that it doesn't look really 
empty. It's going to lag my computer, but that's why I have a Ryzen 5950X, literally for this reason. Uh, and let's just add it. Oh my, I just, <laughs> look at it. Really, just, just, look at, look at that. It's so ridiculous. I mean, you can't even see the planet itself. Jeez. Oh, From the surface, it just looks like a line. Like, you just look up in the sky and it's like, oh, there's the ring going all the way around super far. I mean, this is just absurd. The size of this. This is, this is really absurd. I, I don't know, like, how to scale this out for you. Um, I mean, let's go ahead and... Maybe I can put it in terms of the entire solar system. So let's see if I can save this entire... I think I may have an issue saving this entire thing. We may have to just do that again. Unfortunately, I don't think I can save ring presets. Um, actually, let's just put Earth and the Moon down. That's a good comparison point. So the Earth and Moon are pretty far apart. Um, I'll put the Earth right here. I can't... Why Why can't I see the... I guess it didn't actually put it down. Let's try that again. There we go. There's the Earth. And where's the moon? It's not placing the moon this time. The game really doesn't like me right now. Okay. Now that Earth has that Earth and the moon. This is the Earth. This is the moon distance. And once again... <laughs> I... I... <laughs> Uh, if I put this in terms of, like, the distance between the sun and the earth, it would, it would be, um, a little bit easier to comprehend. I'll try to move this over there in a second. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like when it's spinning. I mean, the particles in the center are moving pretty quickly because they're close. Uh, things that orbit closer move faster. So these have a velocity of about two kilometers per second. And one thing we have to note is that they are uh, covering a much smaller uh, circumference here. So it looks like, relatively, they're moving a lot faster as well. But these guys on the very outside are moving 0 0.27 kilometers per second, much, much slower. And they have a much, much larger radius they have to cover. This is actually kind of absurd. Um, the simulation is chugging at this point. But let's go ahead and try to grab J1407B and plop it uh, into the solar system just so that we can see the absolute scale of this. I hope I'm getting across how just absurdly large. And this isn't just a made-up planet. This is something that we have discovered. These are the uh, properties we believe it to have. Literally absurd. Okay, where's J? There we go. Alright. For comparison's sake, let me put it next to the sun. And then let's go ahead and add those rings again. I think it was like 220 uh, on the number. It doesn't have to be perfect. Saturn. Then we'll just go into edit the settings. Then we'll do 220. We'll increase the amount of particles, but not quite as much so that we don't kill my computer quite as badly. Uh, and then we're just going to hit... Add a ring, and... <laughs> okay, this, this, this is a better scale, to put it into perspective. So it is 0.6 of the way to the Earth. Uh, between the Earth and the Sun, it's 60% of the way to the Earth. Um, because that's 1 AU. But, like, look at... <laughs> it is, uh, it's further out than Mercury, damn it! I, I'm kind of curious what will happen if we just let this play, so we will, but... Literally, uh, absurd physics are at play here. The particles this far out have so little gravitational... Oh yeah, the sun. The sun is literally just eating the ring. Out here, there's just so little gravitational pull from the planet itself. The other planets or anything that pass by can steal them really easily. I think Mercury is actually stealing some over here. There aren't really enough particles to fill in this much space very well. The, the sun is literally just gobbling the entire thing up. The sun's like, damn, I'm hungry. 
Well, guess what? I'm gonna make the mass of the sun negative. Because that's something you can do in this game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we can really see <laughs> the expansion of the ring. I mean, also the planets and stuff being thrown away like they're last year's pop tracks, but really, I mean, that is crazy. If there is one planet that I'd like to see uh, just in person, I think J1407B definitely ranks up there because a ring just that insane. I mean, on the scale of a human, you probably could not tell the difference. Like, if you were sitting on Saturn and looking at the rings and then looking at J1407B, it's so far away that you probably couldn't comprehend the scale difference, so it wouldn't matter. But just to be able to say, yeah, I saw that, probably worth it. Probably worth it. Yeah. Okay, that was fun. Uh, we'll see if you have any other cool planets or anything you want to simulate in this game, you want to see done. Let, let me know in, in the, the, the comments down below. I'll see you all next time. Let's put my face back where... Oh, that wasn't my face. What is that? That's like the chat box or something for streams. That's not my face. That's, which, which one? Of, there I am. All right. Gliding back over to my corner here. Bye. Oh, what am I doing with my life?